I want to whip your Google Drive into shape the same way that we whipped your email and your bookmarks into shape. This one is one of my all-time favorites, and it's called Workspaces. Very few people ever talk about priority or workspaces in Google Drive. You may not have even known that it was there. But when I open up my Google Drive, I've got a section in the top left corner called Priority. So you probably thought, well, priority probably means that any of the messages that uh, I use the most often, right? Probably. Well, sort of. It's sort of the documents that you use every day. That's part of it. That's the priority part. And if you uh, take your mouse cursor and uh, click and drag it over here to the right, you'll notice that we have approximately 10 different documents most often used are most important documents that I use every day. They're highlighted as a thumbnail image at the top of my Google Drive, right under priority. So that's what they are. That's what the priority documents are. You can click on the three dotted button next to any of those priority documents. You can move it to a folder. You can add a shortcut to your drive. I can show the file location where it resides on my Google Drive. I can add it to a workspace. I can share it. I can do all these things for any of these documents. But what about workspaces? What I've done is I've organized my Google life by going in and creating workspaces. Now you'll notice, and I'll let you take a look at these. I've got Google Training. I've got EdTech Insert. I mean, this is my department, my EdTech department that I belong to. It's part of instructional services, and it's also known as the curriculum department. So I put EdTech instructional services curriculum. Anything that falls into any of those categories, I add here for future use. If I click view for more, I can see all of them right here. And you'll notice right here, it says nine of 25 file limit, which means that you get up to 25 files that can be stored away under that category, kind of cool. Instead of having to make a folder, you can take documents that you've created recently and quickly organize them under a workspace title. So let's say that I took this and I wanted to hide it. I'm going to hide the workspace. And now I have room for one more. I've used up all the workspaces that I'm given. So what you're going to see is you're going to have a button that says create. So what you can do is click the create button and then give it a title. Let's see, this is the week of July 12th, July 12th. I'll call it week of July 12th. Okay, so these will be documents that I use the week of July 12th. That's kind of an interesting way of doing this. So I'm going to click create, all right. And now it asks you, it will pop up this uh, little window that says, get started by adding files to your workspace. So I'll click add files. And now I can start grabbing documents that I'm going to use for this week. So I'll scroll through and I can do searches using the search button. I could find them by file type, by date, or by owner, just like you can in Google Drive normally. So. I might wanna just quickly grab some recent documents that I'm going to use. So I know that this one I'm going to use this week. I can hold down my control key and grab some other documents that I'll be using this week, like these, these four, okay? So I'm going to click on all of those. And then in the bottom right corner, you'll notice that uh, I have a button that says insert. So I've selected four documents that I'm going to use this week. I'm going to click insert. And now they'll all be whisked into this priority workspace. And there you go. So I click done. And now I've created a brand new workspace. I've got, actually it's organized alphabetically. That's why it came down here to the bottom right. So anything with a number will come up at the very top. And then it's alphabetical going from left to right, left to right, and week of July 12th, alphabetically falls with a W, so it's going to be at the bottom. So you can create up to eight workspaces at a time. And you'll notice if you were watching very closely, you noticed that I had to hide one of the eight workspaces that I currently had available. 
So the way I did that was I clicked the three dotted button next to the workspace and I chose hide workspace. As soon as you watch what happens to this button that says create, as soon as I hide a workspace, now it gets rid of that eighth workspace and now I have room for one more. Since you only get eight, I can now click create and start with a brand new workspace and give that a title and then drag documents to that. So where do they go when you hide them? Just simply scroll down to the bottom of your workspace list and click hidden workspaces. And then you can click on any of these. Uh, maybe I want tech tips to come back or maybe I want this one right here, Ed Tech Instructional Services Curriculum. I might want that back. Maybe we have a staff meeting coming up soon. I can unhide the workspace and bring it back. And now I'm back to eight workspaces and I can continue to add more documents to that. The more recent documents will rise to the top. And also if you click on view for more, you'll notice again, as I mentioned already, you get 25 slots. So I've only used nine, so I've got plenty of space here that I can add more documents. All I have to do is click Add Files, and I can find more files to add. So if you're very careful and you make these and name them with a name that really applies to what you're doing, you can actually be organized in your Google Drive without ever having to go back to your My Drive and have to create folders. This is a way you can organize yourself so you have everything all in one place, literally.